Assalamu alaikum guys, you are not yet welcome to smile to Jannah. Now you are. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> Quite a few things have happened in the hip hop slash rap industry in the last month or two and you know what guys, it's important that we discuss it to find out what on earth is going on. But what's the point? Those of you guys that still live under a rock or neglect your kids, you won't know that every kid goes through a phase where they want to be a bad man, where they want to be a bad boy. Boy, boy, boy. Where they want to be bad man, bad boy. Boy. Why? I've done that. I did the accent as well. Uh, what was it? Rude boy. Yeah. A rude boy or a thug. But I've got a saying. Say everyone wants to be a bad boy. Boy. Until their first job interview when they realize that the kids that they were trying to impress, they're not going to see them anymore because they've got on with their lives and their parents are on their case to earn a bob or two so now they have to leave the whole thuggish lifestyle to the side and they have to actually man up. You're out of a job boy! But until that stage comes the kids are fully invested in the bad boy lifestyle. Of course they are, I mean why wouldn't they be? It was the same reason I was attracted to it. You look at these guys with amazing dress sense, exuding confidence, you know chains and women and money, you know all the desirable activities that kids are told to stay away from, these guys are just blase mate. You can't have a girlfriend mate, I got flipping four in the background. What the hell is this? Billah. You guys can't afford a bar of Snickers, mate I've got chain dangling, I've got like four chains here, I've got like 17 rings even though I only got 10 fingers mate and you know what, I've got like four Lamborghinis even though I can barely even ride one of them because I don't even have a driving license. <laughs> So when kids see people like that, they're like, yo, flipping heck, like, I'm getting bullied by Dave at school and these guys are like, yo, I get a Glock and I shoot it in your nose, mate. And like, whoa, this guy is proper OG gangster. I want to be like this, mate. The, the problem is when you start adopting that to such a degree that it starts affecting your relationship with your parents, with your teachers, and because of that distance is created and then you have no other choice but to hang around bad boys. So it's a vicious cycle. And let's be frank, there's a new track coming out, new music video coming out, flipping every day, mate. Yeah, and one day these guys get like millions of views. I mean, what on earth is the point of this long rant. Well, there's this rapper called 6ix9ine, yeah? There's this big controversy happening and he's been accused of snitching. But in the hip hop rap game, everybody knows, can't be snitching, mate. On the other hand, in these rap videos, you've got flipping everybody with minimal clothing, plastered with makeup. But then you've got Kanye West telling his family, you know, my kids, they can't be wearing a crop top and no makeup. Hang on a minute, mate. If you're pushing a lifestyle that pretty much wouldn't have existed were it not for inappropriate clothing and makeup, then why on earth aren't you allowing it for your kids? It's because these people know these things are inherently not good for us. Otherwise they would have been doing it themselves. Now we move on to T.I. He admitted that every year he takes his daughter to the gynecologist to get her virginity checked. So modesty, chastity, and honor seems to mean a lot to this guy, but he's in an industry that makes money from the exact opposite. I guess what I'm trying to say guys is hypocrisy. You double standard hypocrites. That's what's wrong with this industry that push desires onto us. Why? Because number one, it sells. Number two, it's a way of distracting and numbing the actual pains within us. So we want to buy stuff, we want to have relations with the opposite gender, we want to go clubbing. Why? To numb the actual issue that's wrong with us. I mean why else would a mother or sister sell her honor for likes if there wasn't some insecurity inside? And that's where the father and the brother went wrong. They didn't make her feel wanted, they weren't around for her when she needed a male figure at home. They were too busy earning the dollar and the dime. It's not just the fault of the sisters. Had they received the love at home, they wouldn't be doing what they're doing. So I guess what I'm trying to say guys is when you're selling yourself for likes 
and for other people's validation it's fake that whole facade the people that are adoring you it's fake so when you finally need someone real because you're going through something and this fake lifestyle is not going to give you real solutions so when you finally want a real solution you realize you know what none of this is real the only reality comes from the one who's created us from being god conscious that's what draws good loyal friends towards me that's what draws goodness towards me because i pushed god away I pushed the real away. So now I'm just surrounded by fakeness and fake people. And that then results in you just numbing the pain. So I guess there's a three step process. Number one, when you go through all of this, listen to music and, you know, wearing inappropriate clothes and chasing likes. Yeah, it may be fun at the beginning. But then when you start realizing flipping heck, like I've got real problems, but I've just got fake people and fake solutions around me, then it becomes fun with problems and then number three it's just problems if your father or brothers were not around and you're looking for validation in strangers on the internet realize guys what you're actually doing don't fall into the trap because then you're going to attract more fake men into your life realize what the problem is and start actively healing yourself don't start exacerbating the process by going to more fake things and just making it worse for yourself. And if you are a man and you're doing the same thing and you're expecting your sister or your mother or you know whoever not to be doing that, don't be a hypocrite. You need to be at home. You need to show your sisters and your family love and appreciation so they won't search for it elsewhere. The family unit, it's very important, but there is a war on the family unit. That's why you've got the spread of all this confusion. I mean, who am I? You know, do I need to stay at home? What's my role as a mother? What's my role as a father? No, this is your role. That's my role. Confusion breeds chaos, breeds breaking up of the family unit. And when we look at these rappers, they understand this. That's why they're trying to, you know, make sure they don't fall in that trap. And sometimes it's news like this that really should be a wake up call for us. Let's leave it there. Until next time guys, everyone wants to be a bad boy until their first job interview. Assalamu alaikum.